Hello everyone and now welcome to a third game between Infi and Focus. Um, thanks for tuning in everyone. Thank you for all 11 people still sticking around with me. I think I was as high as like 20 today and then it seems to be dropping like a fly. Perhaps there's some other live games being cast out there. Anyways, support your favorite Warcraft 3 content as Warcraft 3 Reforged is, well, should be very interesting. I, I think um, I'm not 100% sure um, what's going to be happening with Warcraft 3 Reforged, whether or not there will be an influx of, of players. And th the reason why we're, we're all worth two viewers. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Hacky. Um, well, I guess one of the things that I'm, I'm not 100% sure about or, well, is whether or not Warcraft 3 Reforged will completely revitalize Warcraft 3. Um, I think the players out there and the, the people who enjoyed Warcraft 3 and are currently watching it will transition to Warcraft uh, 3 Reforged. But the big question in, and the big question is going to be whether or not a World of Warcraft players buy Warcraft 3 Reforged, play through the story and actually care about the professional scene enough. Um, World of Warcraft, a game I'm sure all of you have heard of. Um, you know, millions of players around the world, probably upwards of 20 million if you say um, not all at the same time, but probably 20 million or more Ready unique individuals have played it. And if they want to go into the underlying story of Arthas and what, what, Ar what became of Arthas and why and all of that backstory, well, that's 20 million people who will be playing Warcraft 3 Reforged, even if only 5% of them. Well, that's still a very large influx of Warcraft 3 Re Reforged players, 1 million new viewers. As we're looking at the Archmage, <clears throat> now making its way over, taking down this, what, I believe it's 5-4-3 creep camp, um, and finishing off some units there. All right, Forest Troll Berserker will get finished off here. Haven't played Warcraft 3 for 15 years. When Reforge comes out, though, I'll buy it and play some. Maybe the servers won't be packed with experts, and I'll stand a chance with my Paladin. Yeah, that, that, that is a little bit of the problem. Um, if you try to play Warcraft 3 right now on the servers, um, you're pretty much going up against people who have played the game a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean like 15 years of practice a lot. So, um, it, of course, it's going to be a very, very difficult of a learning curve to try to uh, get back into the scene. And sometimes it, you don't want to play against the best of the best and you still end up getting paired with them. Anyone who's done three or 3v3 or 4v4 random team right now, you'll be like, Hey, there, there's a level or a rank 34 or like a level 44 player coupled with a 17 and a 23. It seems a little bit odd. Anyways, let's go ahead and go after this dust of appearance. What is going on? Blade Master is very much nearby. As w where is he going to be going? I should perhaps be switching colors so I can keep track this blade master here on the minimap now trying to finish off some of these units blade master could finish off the water elemental water elemental i believe gets denied as the archmage is in fact at level two archmage getting in some bonus damage with the claws of attack and also that circle of nobility will be forced to back up here as the blade master has taken a lot more damage than i believe he would like all right there is one more there is another and now it is gonna in fact run away blade master being forced to healing salve to break the wind walk there as the grunts now making its way back very rare to see that the act the archmage winning out in a battle like that the blade master forced to retreat forced to win walk and forced to be healed back up what is going on next back across here footman gonna go ahead and hang around by this fountain of health and if focus um, should have an advantage on any map it should be concealed hill because of those fountains of health Blade Master very much nearby could spring a surprise attack on that Archmage as the Archmage still doing a little bit of a dance around. Um, are we going to see perhaps some low hit point footmen getting picked off slowly as the Blade Master now going after the Archmage? Archmage now down to 216 hit points trying to get away. Blade Master could go after some extra other units as well as the Archmage still gaining experience oh, even though he is away from all of the action. Grunt gets surrounded here. Archmage going to be try and finish it off. There is another footman blocking in position and Infi is just still, well, is it going to be able to get away? Down to 51 hit points, trying to run. Down to 
21 hit points and it looks like it may be able to head off over here and throw himself on a cobalt tunneler up oh, no, does not throw himself on a Cobalt Tunneler. Archmage still gets the final shot. Infi has been playing an absolute beast of a game. Perhaps Focus thought that the Fountain of Health was in a different location and misclicked, thereby causing the problem. Blademaster going to finish off the, the trap there. Crab there gets a Tome of Knowledge and now perhaps going to try and focus down this Archmage. Archmage still has that Boots of Speed and the Blademaster with the ability to chase down the Archmage, well, decides to give it up. All right, perhaps we're looking at the reintroduction of Boots of Speed as a meta staple as the Blade Master now down to, or the Footman now down to 93 hit points. Blade Master gonna run around to try and catch up here. The Footman down to 58, 60 hit points. One more shot should do it as the Footman is still perhaps gonna try and aggro some of those units again. There it goes, 104 critical strike. Getting that critical strike, allowing him to get that kill. Archmage going after some kobold, kobold tunnelers and geomancers now. That will all get finished off. Tome of Agility will get picked up. Meanwhile, Blade Master sitting at level 2 while the Shadow Hunter is creeping with two additional grunts. Sea Turtles getting cleared up here. Mountain King now out on the field as the Archmage. Footmen and Water Elemental making its way down to the south. Blademaster going after a 4-1-1 creep camp. And so far, um, focus just seems to be a little bit off. Infi has been um, either that or Infi has been playing at a very phenomenal level. Being able to just uh, outclass and outplay um, focus at every step and turn. On a map like Concealed Hill right now, it is surprising that the human army is the first one to try and clear out this Red Drake Fountain of Health creep camp. The Forest Troll Berserker will get taken down, and we're taking a look. Perhaps the Red Drake will get pulled away, and now the units are being brought back over to make sure that the Fountain of Health is not healing that Red Drake. Once that is being brought over, Blade Master is very much nearby. Mountain King, what is going to go on? Are we going to perhaps see some Storm Bolts here? Blade Master now joins in on the fight. Blade Master does not get the kill as the Blade Master, well, went a little bit too early. Red Drake will get finished off here. That additional armor or that heavy armor vulnerable to the casters as the Mountain King nearby gets to level 3 and picks up a very important robe of the Magi. Ogre Lord getting ensnared will get taken down. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 2. What is going on? There's a hex. Are we going to get another ensnare here? We're trying to get that surround. And there you go, getting that surround once more. Shockwave through the units as the Ogre Magi now makes its way through as well. There you go. Claws of Attack plus 12. A beautiful item picked up by the Blade Master. Uh, actually, where is it? No, oh, there it is. Shadow Hunter now currently has it. And, well, perhaps that little bit of range attack will be incredibly helpful. Meanwhile, Mountain King with a potion of lesser invulnerability, replenishment potion, and a potion of invulnerability coming across inside here once again. Well, we are finally getting the reinforced defenses, but it may be too little too late for this Orc Burrow. Footmen now making their way over. Look like they're going to be able to take this down. Blade Master going after some of those units. Orc Burrow will get taken down as one priest gets shut down here. All right, reinforced defenses as we see the Spirit Walkers looking to join in on the fight. Mountain King getting into a bad spot. Footman now chasing down the Spirit Walker as the Spirit Walker could get finished off once more. All right, going into the ethereal form, a thunderclap would finish it off. A healing wave now as the sorceresses could try and focus down this Spirit Walker. Blade Master not going to engage. Spirit Walker, well, um, not doing very much at all as the Archmage going to go ahead and use a Scroll of Town Portal to get away. Blade Master finishing off some units, takes down a Footman. As we see some Raiders and some other units being left behind. 44 supply compared to 42. Well executed, well played, lost an Orc Burrow. But this time, having the reinforced defenses made a big difference as the other Orc Burrows were not vulnerable to the damage of the water elementals but more importantly taking double damage from the sorceress's magic attack all right ogre magi gonna get finished off here in just a moment spellbreakers have not been used as of yet nope first spellbreaker gonna get trained up second spellbreaker excuse me getting get trained up as we're looking at inner fire being transitioned or moved off to the remaining casters 
also only like, actually i don't see any priest in this army and if well if infi doesn't realize that there's not enough priest his army is going to have a hard time staying alive militia now joining it out on the fight it looks like priests are being added in meanwhile blade master trying to go after this ogre warrior creep camp will be able to ensnare finish off the red drake and perhaps some of the other remaining units healing wave red drake back up into the air mountain king joining on the fight Stormbolt. And the experience, I believe, was stolen. Blade, a Shadow Hunter sitting at level three. Blade Master sitting at level three. A big thunderclap there. Two uh, claws of uh, claws of attack plus twelve and plus six. But is it going to be enough? As the Kodo be still unable to get away, getting tripped up across all of those militia. Now getting slowed down by the slow as the peasants are getting taken out here. Are we going to see? Yes, a pickup there. A beautiful dodge. Stormbolt missing once more as the. Goblin Zeppelin going to go ahead and eat a unit. Is it going to try and get away now as the Kodo Beast, well, sh has no reason to be on the ground. The Goblin Zeppelin should have picked it up after it started to digest its dinner. Raider going to get taken out here, getting blocked by its own Spirit Walker once more. Blade Master going to get ensnared. A uh, number of peasants could get taken down. Um, that is a little bit of a loss once more as the peasants will get finished off here. Water Elemental still joining in on the fight as a low hit point grunt down to 212 hit points after a healing wave stormbolt onto the raider raider down to 354 stormbolt again is it going to goblin zip and pick it up yes it will and it will be able to retreat back off to the north sentry ward keeping track of the blade master meanwhile peon heading back off to the north here 48 supply compared to 43 a sub five supply advantage as the blade master forced to retreat again Goblin Zeppelin needs to heal up that unit. Meanwhile, Blade Master gets in a big crit or windwalk strike. Stormbolt, Thunderclap. Blade Master forced to try and escape back here slow. And um, thank you, Benjamin, for tuning in as we're looking at the Raiders. Well, still trying to chase down some more units. Blade Master, Archmage, still running away. Archmage is going to be able to chase down these units and snare onto a sorceress as it looks like it will get taken down. A slow battle of attrition between these two armies. And still unsure who is going to come out ahead. Goblin Zeppelin with a well low hit point raider going to go ahead and get healing salved. Meanwhile, the Fountain of Health across here um, is still ready to heal up some units and still drop some good amount of experience. Let's take a look at this one central gold mine in the center portion of the map. If you can perhaps fight and engage with your back to the Fountain of Health, that is a good spot to be. Hey, Captain Danger, thanks for tuning in as the Blade Master looks to fight some more, off some more units. All right, Goblin Zeppelin moving away again. Grunt, Ogre Magi could get taken down. The Tome of Strength a plus two has been dropped. Who's going to engage and win out on this fight? As we're taking a look at the Raiders now trying to get back here. Kodo Beast could try and digest some units as the low hit point Raider will get taken down. We saw a couple of disenchants as the Sorceresses are trying to get away. Let's take a look at that. A bunch of magic damage finishing off a, a Spirit Walker there as the Blade Master tries to chase down some more units again. 55 supply compared to 45. The supply advantage going to give Infi a, well, a, heads, or a, or a heads up in that competition there. And I believe this may be the beginning of the end. Andres, thank you for the sub as the Mountain King gets up to level four. All right. Somehow the priests still have a good amount of mana. Um, even though the Archmage is seen at level four, there was a much weaker version of Brilliant Aura now as the now heading back off to the north here 60 supply compared to 48 still a substantial difference in terms of overall army size as the kodo beast now looks to back up let's take a look spellbreakers in that front line position no well no torrent chieftain with that um, pulverized to really eat through all of those units as the blade master gets a healing wave and a potion of greater healing to try and stay alive mountain king currently invisible disenchant misses the mountain king as he's able to get away blade master and shadow hunter both get to level four as the shadow hunter with even with double mantles of intelligence having problems keeping this army alive and well stormbolt goes the distance finishes off a kodo beast as we now are looking at a retreat again. All right, more fighting getting underway. There go some more Spellbreakers. Spirit Walkers are fighting their way through. Water Elemental could get taken down, down to 143 hit points. And well, it looks like it's still getting healed back up, able to absorb so much damage. Raider getting taken out. And still somehow Focus is able to continue this battle, but he is losing more 
than his opponent, which means that the level advantage is just going to continue to grow. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, both sitting at level four. Archmage is getting closer to level five as the Mountain King well runs into harm's way, and that could have been potentially dangerous. Archmage getting ensnared. Archmage is he going to be able to survive? No more ensnares as we take a look. Infi taking all three games. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.